Hey guys doing? Woo! Right. I'm so glad you're all out because I have been celebrating all day a negative pregnancy test. Yeah. Ooh, that crap was scary. Because <laughs> nothing is a bigger red flag that you can't afford the new baby is when you're at the dollar store to buy the pregnancy test. <laughs> I look so sad and pathetic standing online with a dollar made up of nickels and dirty pennies that I stole from my first kid. <laughs> that child's got so many IOU stuffed in her piggy bank, I feel like the US government. <laughs> and she's in a little China. <laughs> taking a pregnancy test knows they're 99.9% .9 effective, not the ones you get at the dollar store, no. They give you suggestions instead, like maybe you shouldn't have got the condoms here in the first place. <laughs> or the strawberry wine. <laughs> but it was date night, it was fun. I have, my, I have a little one, that's why I was excited. My daughter is seven now, uh, she still believes in Santa, so I get to manipulate her for a solid three months a year. You know, a lot of, if you don't listen to mommy, Santa's watching, he'll take away your present. Well, this Christmas Eve, it bit me in the behind because she's taking a shower and she pulls back the curtain. She goes, you think Santa's watching me now, mommy? <laughs> I was like, what are you into? And then Chris Hansen kicked in my front door with a camera crew. It was a nice Christmas. <laughs> it was fun. I, uh, I let her watch Snapped. I don't know if anyone watches Snapped on Oxygen. It's crazy lady right there. Good for you. <laughs> the rest of you who don't watch it, it's a show about normal women that snap and kill their husbands. <laughs> yeah. I let her watch it because I want her to avoid sloppy mistakes, and I think it's a good start. <laughs> it's like Barney for murder. <laughs> she is on it. We watched an episode the other day, she's got these big brown eyes and she's asking me all sorts of questions like, Mommy, why did she stab him? And I had to be a good mom, first things first. I got right on her level and I said, sweetie, that's easy. He made a bad choice and put his pee-pee where it didn't belong. <laughs> she didn't quite get it, you know, so I get out the puppets. <laughs> Which, I don't know about anybody, but um, I can't find a good puppet with a knife, so I made some. They're my homemade John and Lorena Bobbitt puppets, and <laughs> his comes with detachable items. <laughs> some of you guys are young. John and Lorena Bobbitt were married many, many years ago, and he kept putting his pee-pee where it didn't belong. <laughs> so she cut it off, threw it out the window, cops found it, reattached it, he did porn. <laughs> Which really leads me to believe that he did not learn his lesson. <laughs> no, because he went into a vocation where they scream, cut, all day long. <laughs> I don't get you guys. <laughs> it's like the ultimate check the scar out. Uh, I, uh, I'm glad my little one's in first grade now, so I no longer have to look for daycares, which is great, but I had one by me, and it was called Dimples Playground, and I thought that's a fantastic name for a strip club for fat chicks. <laughs> <laughs> that's like brilliant marketing. It just sells itself. They tried the girls out, put it on the hiney, www.dimplesplayground.com slash I got daddy issues. <laughs> if it don't fit, you ain't legit. It's a long slogan. <laughs> it's fun though. And I live in a part of Florida where I am like a hottie. You know, where I just like go to Walmart on like a Saturday night and pose. Because I have all my front teeth. <laughs> <laughs> The greeter's like, ma'am, can I help you with something? I'm like, no, I just feel better. <laughs> Pretty almost. And we have a uh, we have a pawn shop up by us, and it's called Golden Nugget. And I thought, now that's a fantastic name for a strip club for Asian men, you know, because they just have a little nugget. <laughs> it doesn't move, you know. They're trying. <laughs> It looks like a golden spray-painted spray tater tot, you know, and they're just trying to shake it. <laughs> but they do your taxes, so it's worth the trip. It's fun. It's fun. 
It's fun. Speaking of stripping, uh, made a goal for, for this year. It's to stay off the pole. You know, I think it's a good goal for most women. Um, if I do it though, like I start thinking about it, I'm like, I'm not gonna go to some fancy dancey place like, you know, Scores in Manhattan, somewhere hot in LA, or like Mons Venus in Tampa, no. I wanna go to a, like a Dimples playground, you know? <laughs> go to like a strip mall in South Detroit where like the windows are bashed in and someone stole the ass, you know? Somewhere classy. I can make some money. <laughs> but then I'm like, you know what, if I do that, I, sh I should be smart, make it marketable, go to Mons Venus, get all the PTA moms together, we'll do Mons at Mons, it just rolls right out the tongue. And if I did that, um, you know, the DJs would be a bit confused because we wouldn't have sexy names like the other girls, like Mercedes or Douche. <laughs> you know, be like, next dancer coming to the stage, she's the PTA mom of the year. She runs the carpool lane. Give it up for Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Becky's just working it out in her best tankini. She got it sale at Target. <laughs> Dancing to the wheels on the bus, go round and round. <laughs> And we'll work the kids' school schedule, you know, Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. because I'm not splitting my tips with a sitter. That's ridiculous. <laughs> not gonna win that way. And then we're not gonna, I know a lot of people think like, moms, you know, we're not gonna do lap dances. We're gonna do clap dances. And that's where we clap at a man in a chair and hope for the best, you know? <laughs> oh, look at you! Yeah, you're getting bigger. Yeah! Gold star, sir. And they get the lube. I'm like a desert down here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick. Um, it's fun, though. I'm married. I know the first thing that people notice is that I'm not wearing my wedding ring. And that's for the simple fact that if something better comes along, I am out of there so fast his head will spin. <laughs> It's like he's earned it though. Like he says things when I go away to do work. He's like, last week, honey, when you're famous and you're on the Tonight Show, are you gonna give me some credit for all the crap I have to put up with? And I said, of course, sweetie. I'm gonna tell them my ex-husband was extremely supportive <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning. Very adorable. He doesn't really like the joke anymore, and my boyfriend hates it. So. <laughs> Uh, I mentioned to you guys that I had that negative pregnancy test and I had to go to the doctor and make sure there's no oopsie baby in there. And every woman in this you know, world knows it's the most uncomfortable exam that we go through. You're lying there and they put the speculum in and you're like, oh goodness, and then you hear that click. It is the worst sound in the world, but I'm always so glad that I don't hear click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> because then you're a whore. <laughs> Thank you guys.